It's one of the busiest times of day for Alawaya Abdullah, who works at Edgware Primary School. Alawaya has been a parent ambassador here for more than two years. She is one of many parent ambassadors who are operating very successfully in a number of mainstream schools. Some parent ambassadors work with supplementary schools where they also make a significant impact. This film showcases two schools, Edgware Primary in Barnet and Hatch End High in Harrow. It also highlights the training which the charity Securing Success provides and which is helping to expand the Parent Ambassador Initiative into other areas and settings. Part of the Parent Ambassador role is the induction of children into their new school. This work is crucial when a family has recently arrived in the UK. These families are further disadvantaged by having little knowledge of English. I speak English, so I can only imagine uh, parents who don't speak English and how they feel. So they know that there is someone there in the school that they can approach and they feel comfortable with. And I also liaise between parents and staff, so I attend parents' meetings, translating, I do admissions, so I'm the first person that the parents, the new parents, see. I'm also the link manager between Saturday School and Edgeway Primary School, so I do admissions for the children that are interested in going to Saturday School, and I also make sure that they attend regularly. So I phone the parents every week, um, ask them how their children are doing, are they happy in our Saturday School, and I also took um, I'm the link between the Saturday School staff and Edgeway Primary School as well. Parents who feel vulnerable due to a lack of experience of the British education system are empowered. They're able to give the support that their children require in order to achieve their academic potential. We have a hearing Miss Abdullah and she helps us uh, always. Uh, she makes everything is easy. She talks with us. She is like a bridge between the parents and the school. And uh, yeah, we trust her. It's big important to have somebody in the school to know that every morning, every day, you can go and put a question and you have a nice answer. For me, have a parent ambassador at school is amazing. And I can see Miss Abdullah every morning in the playground. If I need a problem, I go to her. On Saturday, school help us explain us for children, what is good, what is everything. What I have the problem, I go to her. <laughs> it's easy for me. I have three child they come in from the school. Uh, I speak three languages, but my English is not very well. Miss Abdullah, she's helped me for anything. And uh, they come into Saturday school as well. If we need anything, we're talking with her about it. The parent ambassador, I think, is, is, um, it is a good thing and is more important for the parents to have someone, a mediator with the school and parents. Who, who, this person understands the parents because they also the parents and they uh, help us to speak with the teachers and with school. So I think it's, it's, it's a very good thing. Uh, Manahil and Miss Abdullah help her out in um, conversation English and so also translate and help if they, she have any concern or any problem in school, she'll come to us for help. Parent ambassadors continue to keep parents informed of a number of activities and services available to them. In the beginning of September when the weather is nice to yeah. be honest. As the parent ambassador role is unique and quite specialised, parent ambassadors work particularly well in teams. I think it's a good way because parents feel proud mm -hmm. of their country. And Where schools employ more than one parent ambassador, they are able to plan together for particular events and to tackle issues arising from the role. Parent ambassadors are invaluable in supporting the work of school staff in developing positive relationships with families. Our parent ambassadors do a huge amount of work within this school. They are there for parent consultations, they are there to make sure that the child settles in well, 
Um, they are also there to reassure parents that their child is in the safe hands and that we are looking after them. They provide something as an extra because our staff are really busy and our staff do engage with parents very well. We spend time talking to them and obviously the class teacher will talk to a parent if they've got an issue. But I think they really do make that connection. They support things like they'll organise international days, they'll organise events that brings parents parents into the school. I get to hear things and I get to sort of test the water with them and say, how do you think parents are feeling about that? You know, so I always have that communication of knowing what's going on and, and they just have an enormous impact that, you know, they're working with the children, but they're working with the parents, they're working with the bigger families, they're working with the staff. So they're just connected in so many different ways and they do have a, they have a huge impact and I think celebrating without them I don't think the school will be as good a place. Nice to see you all. Direct contact with parents is more difficult in secondary schools, so parent ambassadors have to develop strategies for engaging with families. ESOL classes are popular, and parent ambassadors encourage and remind parents to attend them regularly. Contact with parents at the secondary phase is important for the school staff as many issues may be addressed effectively at an early stage before serious problems arise. It's equally important that ethnic minority families feel valued through this interaction. They are very happy when the children are starting the school. They're happy for me to be there, introduce myself to them and just encourage them to say, I am here to help and just be welcome. Welcome, Having a parent ambassador, yeah, it helps me. She wants me to help her improve her English, so she'll be able to help her kids going to school. In addition, parent ambassadors make regular phone calls to update and involve parents or carers, particularly those who are refugees or asylum seekers. Being a parent ambassador in a secondary school is a bit difficult because I don't get to see parents face to face so my strategy is that I call in parents by phone or I create meetings for parents to come in so I can speak about the children and their kids and what's happening in school. I am also um, encourage um, or create extra activities. I'm Right now I'm working along with Pay One, an Afghan association where I, I am uh, hopefully we're planning to start a parental course for the Afghan parents and teach them the British culture and what's expected of them in school, uh, what's expected of the children in school. The parent ambassadors are the first connection for many, many families that uh, otherwise would not have a personal connection with the school. So we're trying to improve the relationships between these communities and the school, which is such a vital institution. Uh, otherwise, they would not have that person to call when they needed to. They work proactively. So they, they would pick up the phone as soon as they know that there's a new family in, uh, coming to the school and they would invite them possibly to a, a parent's English class if that's required or just to meet, maybe meet some, some of the teachers uh, to, to create a, a positive uh, first, first impression for the family and, but also most importantly to create that link that means that the family knows that they will have support at the school for whatever they need. We have always valued the absolutely integral role that any parent plays in a child's education and we want to very much work in partnership with parents. We were very conscious that as a school we have a very diverse community and we want to celebrate that diversity. We employ parent ambassadors for particular communities because we appreciate that there can sometimes be a language barrier, a cultural barrier, and we want to remove any of those potential barriers. Our students they have worked with have historically, including last year, um, performed absolutely brilliantly and way above the national average for students. And so that in itself is evidence of their fantastic work as well as the work of all of our teachers and other staff at the school. I want you to think about parents who are coming from another country. The role of the parent ambassador is very specialised and it's vital that the post holders receive bespoke training. An OCN accredited course is available which provides learners with knowledge and understanding pertaining to their post.
Issues relating to school procedures and policies are explored through discussion and coursework. Here we have the SEN inclusion in mainstream school. The course gives the parent ambassadors the confidence and expertise to carry out a role which can be challenging at times. The gaining of a recognised qualification lends status to the post. The most useful part of uh, this, uh, this course is uh, to identify my role and how I can help the parents to liaise with the school in order to, have, uh, to, to, help, to help their children in achieving the goals that they have for them. And if they have any problems uh, that they can and they feel uh, not so comfortable approaching any member of the staff, they can come to me. I found that all aspects of the course helped me because it put me in a position where I was better um, able to support parents and also to support other parent ambassadors within the school and it also gave me more confidence to know that I do know what I'm doing and I've got all of this information that I can then go back and use within the school. The most useful thing in, in the role of parent ambassador for me was uh, being able to take the information I received from the course and apply them straight away uh, in the meetings that I attended, um, um, induction, meetings too and um, yeah I, it made me reflect on my role um, and remain impartial um, and um, it reminded me not to give advice which that's what I've learned in the course not to give advice but pass on in information to parents um, encourage the parents and has helped me boost my confidence as well. Train the trainer workshops are also available with accompanying workbooks and lesson plans. These workshops enable practitioners from mainstream and supplementary sectors to acquire the knowledge to deliver the accredited courses. Okay, so well, just a short in. session, because yeah. like with me... When parent ambassadors uh, research the provision in their local area, they can identify community-led supplementary schools, uh, which are quality assured through the National Resource Centre for supplementary education. These make a valuable contribution to the children's well-being and academic success.